Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we'll feature the SL20, the Steve Lukather uh, artist set uh, from EMGs. So stick around. This is the SL20 Pro, the Steve Lukather uh, signature set, and uh, it consists of the uh, the single coil by Steve Lukather, aptly named SLV, and the uh, 85 EMG humbucker. Now this pickup uh, comes in a set together with the with this uh, very uh, lovely uh, pickguard, including the tone control, just uh, volume and uh, tone knob and your five ways and a five way switch. Uh, just a little bit inside of this guitar, this is a original Freud Rose which I had installed uh, many years back. And this of course is the Fender made in uh, Mexico, uh, Richie Sambora, without the, uh, the star uh, fret dot that is in the more expensive American made model. In the early 2000s, I procured this made in Mexico Fender Stratocaster, which is, of course, the Richie Sambora model, and I toured with it extensively for a couple of years. Uh, it had its own single-single uh, humbucker configuration with its own version of uh, Freud Row System, the Fender's version, and uh, it played pretty well. You know, I was pretty happy with it. And then, uh, as as the year progresses. Um, the tremolo system kind of gave up on me, so I had it changed twice. I found out about this SL20 uh, artist set from EMG. I was pretty interested, so I bought it from Amazon and I fixed it up myself, actually. It was kind of uh, ambitious for me. But it was pretty easy. It was like, you know, you, you, you put in, you, you just take out the whole pig guard, the original pig guard, take it off, uh, you know, unsolder the, the, the connectors from the jack input, 
and then you just slap this back on and it's basically a push kind of pin kind of connector so it's pretty easy it's actually a no-brainer installation actually and then but I only ran into a problem because of the uh, the pick guard because it couldn't quite fit in but we kind of like I kind of like made it fit in after a while and later on uh, since I had this pickup set installed I said what the heck you know I just might as well change the whole uh, tremolo system so I I uh, actually changed it to a, a original uh, fight rose uh, tremolo arm system um, and uh, yeah it's pretty much been this way all these years and play really well I really love the snack of this guitar uh, and I never had it send it you know never had it like send it down or anything like that because it's not really that sticky um, the fight rose system works if you're into a whole lot of uh, tremolo arm action so yeah so I thought uh, it'd be a, a, a good um, you know, insight to what uh, what pickup systems are out there. Uh, this, incidentally, is still available in EMG. Um, so, if you're into uh, noiseless pickups, you know, uh, active pickups, this this sound great. You know, I, I always love uh, the EMG pickups, and probably because I'm a fan of Steve Lukather. So, yeah. <laughs> so the other guitar that I had, uh, which bear any any. Uh, and the mention of Steve Lukather is of course the Luke from Ernie Ball, which has the same pickup configuration actually. The only difference is the wood of the guitar, the body. And these two guitars sound very different. This has a little bit of a brightness to it as compared to the Luke, uh, which has an outer, if I'm not mistaken, an outer body. This, I have, uh, I'll put the link below. I'll check up later what body is this. It's probably a mahogany, you know, or it, could be older, it could be older too, but the um, the lute has a roasted maple curly neck with a rosewood uh, maple, uh, fretboard. This, I believe, has a maple deck too um, and a rosewood. So, I don't know, I mean, maybe they have the same material, but they sound significantly different. Yeah. Yep, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel and uh, press that bell. So you'll be notified when any videos that comes up. So too much later. Ciao.